All right, we all know our government is totally broken. It's dysfunctional. It doesn't protect us. It overtaxes us. It is all screwed up. It has been for a long, long time. And uh, help is on the way, right? President Trump and his team, they are, well, they're getting ready. They'll be taking office very, very soon. And it's going to be awesome. They're going to fix the government. But they can't fix everything. They can't fix our broken culture. Now, they can help. It's really great. They set the tone in so many different ways. And it's very, very positive that President Trump is going to be the president again. Um, but the culture, to fix that, to correct it, it takes a lot more than whoever sits in the White House and his cabinet. It takes us, right? Each and every one of us and a lot of God. Uh, why am I saying this? I was watching the Thanksgiving Day Parade last week. Hey, what's wrong with the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Nothing, right? I mean, Big Bird, what could be wrong with Big Bird? Nothing. Who else? Elmo? Not that fond of Elmo. I think Oscar showed up. It was fantastic, I thought. See, this is the first time I was watching the parade with my kids who are now old enough to, okay, let's watch some TV, Dad. And we were sitting there watching this parade and things looked fine. They looked familiar, kind of, and then they didn't. First, the commercial break about TV shows that are on NBC. The whole damn parade was a commercial. Uh, you got to watch this show. Let's get back to business. If you float on the boat, you know who get the vote. Let's end this thing with a bang. Let's end this thing with a bang. That's Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. I remember him brandishing a gun and pointing it at an effigy of President Trump. Everybody remember that? Yeah, it was a minor scandal. I just thought, all right, The Voice is a decent show. I don't have a problem with that. But what if Kid Rock held up a gun at, uh, I don't know, Barack Obama or Joe Biden? Would he be hosting The, uh, the Voice? No, it doesn't, right? Of course not. The culture, because the culture is fundamentally corrupt and skewed and weird. So the commercials are over, back to the parade, all right? What can be wrong with a parade? A lot. <laughs> Maybe I paid too much attention, but I think they're after our children. They actually do. Check this out. All right, you may have heard of a rocking horse, but here comes the rocking flamingo with some very fancy pearls. And let's give a wave to Cole Escola as they rock on by. Cole is currently starring on Broadway in the hilarious comedy they also wrote, Oh, Mary. All right, so this is subtle, but that's how it works, right? Subtle. Uh, oh, Mary is a Broadway show that's not for kids, all right? It's about Abe Lincoln and his uh, wife, Mary Todd. But in this version, Mary Todd has some problems and Abraham Lincoln, of course, is gay, and he's trying to hide his sexuality, and it's all a great big laugh fest, right? Let's see here, a little summary of the show. Unhinged hysterical fantasia that imagines its protagonist as an alcoholic cabaret singer married to a gay guy, Abe Lincoln. Uh, you know, it's a kid's parade, the Sesame Street. I mean, people are gay, people are straight. What's the hang-up on sexuality in children? It's a real thing. So... Parade goes on, you know, you got the underdog, you got Spider-Man, and then you have the cast of Love Island, Love Island USA. Have you seen that one? It's a hookup show, and you too can vote about who hooks up with who. Also on today's Flow, guys, it's the host of the viral hit of the summer, Love Island USA. Here is Ariana Maddox. All right, we can't play the music because they charge us a fortune, but... I know I'm being kind of a stick in the mud, but when you watch these shows with kids, you think a little bit differently. I know you know what I'm talking about. So there's Love Island. Talk about cozy. What else goes down in Love Island? Whatever this arrangement is, off to the orgy. I'm sorry, something intense is happening. I know people who like this show. I'm sure it's a lot of fun, but I have a hunch it's adult themed, right? Let's take a look at the write-up, please. A pair of islanders are chosen to be sent to the hideaway where they are able to spend one night together apart from the other couples. And then it gets even more intense, more risque. A parade is supposed to be what? The Sesame Street stuff. Big Bird. Would Big Bird be hanging around? This is product placement. Adult product placement at a kid's show. 
and it's wrong. And it's yet another sign that our culture is fundamentally broken. I mean, this is considered a civil right in New York City. A drag queen showing up in a public school hanging around with kids. And if you complain about it to a public official, you could be charged with a hate crime. These folks right here are heroes. That's what they look like. Regular citizens who stand up and say, you know what, we're not taking this anymore. No, you can't send that transgender individual into the bathroom with my daughter. These people are changing culture. But the work, their work, our work is not done just because President Trump is going to be president again. He needs our help. We need to help each other. I went to a Christmas parade. I must say, I actually am kind of not that familiar with the Christmas parade. It's a beautiful thing. I, this was in November, the day after Thanksgiving, right? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I actually had some flashbacks. I had some very strange flashbacks. I, it was, took me in a bad direction. First, one good moment, all right? The good moment, my daughter seeing all this fancy stuff go by and being delighted. There she is. Sometimes people get upset if I show her face on TV. They think, oh boy, someone is gonna, so that's all, you, that's all we're gonna show. Uh, and then I had flashbacks. Waukesha, Wisconsin. You may not remember it, right? But I thought during that parade, imagine if a maniac drove through in a car because he hated white people, right? I felt like just took me back. It was one of the worst things that ever happened in this country. The victims from age eight to 80. And I also remember that it was like, I don't know, a day in the news, a day. The President Biden didn't run there. No Kamala Harris, no national day of mourning. It was just, you know, something happened in Wisconsin. And then it faded away. I do remember, this was a horrible incident, the spa uh, killings in Atlanta, and horrible. Some maniac opened fire, killed all the workers there, just horrible. But a spa like that is different from a Christmas parade, isn't it? I mean, sometimes some, uh, I hear some interesting things can happen in a spa like that. It's just, it's terrible, but it's not Christmas, you know what I mean? And Joe and Kamala ran there to pretend it was white supremacy. Biden-Harris extends support to Asian Americans' wake of Atlanta shootings. I want every community to be supported, Asian Americans. But the theme, really, hey, let's see if we can put, pin this on MAGA, pin this on Trump. Even though they, law enforcement said, no, this guy's just a deranged man. And he had all kinds of weird hangups. And but that's what they did. Waukesha. Compare Waukesha to what happened. Why wasn't this a national day of mourning? Folks, it comes down to us, our neighbors, our community, our churches, to fix all of this stuff. Because you see in the parade, little, little, slowly but surely, they are pushing and pushing, and they won't stop in big ways and in small ways. They want to corrupt kids. They want to destroy our country, probably more so, and they're gonna work harder, and maybe even for them smarter with President Trump in the White House. They'll have to. I wanna show you another hero in my book, Daniel Penny. The jury is deliberating his fate right now. Daniel Penny, the Marine, everybody on that train uh, was terrified that Jordan Neely was gonna kill him. A hero stood up and protected the community. And you know what he's going through right now. He's on trial, fighting for his life. That's, uh, that's a hero for you. And they don't want any heroes, right? Authoritarians, they don't want heroes. They don't want anybody to stand up. We can stand up in all kinds of ways, whether it's, I don't know, the school board, the letters, or maybe it's not just getting excited about presidential elections, but getting excited when these crazy district attorneys like Alvin Bragg stand for re-election. Alvin Bragg, the guy who indicted a president of the United States over nothing, zero. New York City has approximately 8.5 million people who live here. How many voted for this guy? 
85,000, 0.02%, something like that. Nobody, nobody. And then they act like they're kings. And Republicans often don't even bother in this city, or maybe where you live or whatever. We just all have to do more. And just because our guy won, at least my guy won, you agree, on maybe, but we can't take our foot off the pedal, right? And President Trump also is not afraid, and neither should we, to talk about our faith, to share it with our coworkers, even if they might be offended, a neighbor, somebody we're sitting down, uh, the, the, the tr who knows? Share it. If you got it, spread it. And what's the worst that can happen? Actually, nothing bad can happen. President Trump put it this way. You know, the other thing under attack is religion. Religion was like the glue that kept this country together. And so many people are mocking it now. They mock it. And it just kept our country together. But it's absolutely under attack. The glue that kept this country together. Yeah. 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 Totally. And it is being mocked in big ways and in small ways and the subtle ways and the going after the kids. And I'm sorry, even at a children's parade, a moment where you're bringing up that Abe Lincoln might have been gay. What about how about Abe Lincoln might have been one of the greatest presidents ever who came up with the Emancipation Proclamation and won the Civil War? Does it really matter? And by the way, I don't think that's true. Or how about this? This is a mockery. This is this is worse than a mockery. This is evil. This is evil stuff, and we need God to help us fight it, right? Or we got to get closer to him, however it works. And I think we'll be great. That will help make America great again if we all do our part, huh? What do you think? Information. Truth. Is freedom. Is Newsmax. It's real news for real people.